Now, what we're gonna do real quick is I wanted to add contact form seven to the site. I've done this video before, but I thought it's pretty cool and we'll also add a custom selector in a moment. So the reason why I wanted to do this is take a look at selected detector. So if you haven't already done this, you would go to oxygen settings. You would make sure enabled selector detector is on. And then we essentially just need to reload uh, oxygen. What I wanted to do before I do that is actually copy the short code for this form real quick. And we're going to take a look at this. It's such a cool tool because you can style pretty much any plugin that loads in the oxygen editor. You can use it to adjust the CSS styles, which is very, very cool. So, oh, I didn't save that stuff. No, I can't believe I didn't hit save a single time. So that short code, I actually want to be inside of this section. So I'm gonna pop it up here. And right out of the box, you can see that some of this stuff is styled. So it must be from my style sheets, like I have my gravity form style. So I'm actually gonna delete this. And this is what it would look like right out of the box. So contact form seven is of course very basic, but what I wanted to do was show you that if you click on a short code, you have this new button down here called style output. And then what you can do is hover, you get these little green lines, and then you can just click it and start styling it in oxygen. So we would just click on this field here. Uh, so what you wanna do is actually look at these classes once you select the form field and make sure that you have exactly what you're after selected. If you choose input here, this is going to be every input across your entire site. So you just wanna kinda of look at the um, selectors and just make sure you're selecting what specifically you want. So now we have WP contact form seven and input selected. So it's gonna style these three and or button. So I'm actually gonna change this a little bit. So we would, I just don't want it to change our submit. Um, P, let's see. How will I go? Do, 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 do. I forgot about, um, I forgot about form styler. That's another cool thing. I quickly wanted to touch on this um, uh, and we'll, we'll style our submit button individually later. So we are just going to add some padding to the inside of these forms. So you might wanna go like eight pixels top and bottom, maybe like 15 or 16 left and right. Then let's say you would go with your borders. You might make it like, um, like we could use one of our core classes here, something like this we would make our border radius maybe like eight pixels. And then you could add some box shadow. We could go to effects, box shadow, make it really light, like 10. And then we would go zero, four, 12, zero. That's not the greatest looking form fields ever, but it does work, absolutely. So yeah, there we go. We're, we're using selector detector to style this. Those borders look absolutely terrible. Now, one thing is um, the with, with the selectors, if you wanna get back to them, it is a little bit tricky sometimes. It, you might use the style output, but the easier thing is you can go to manage, selectors, go to uncategorized, open this, and there's the one we were just working with. So you can click that and it takes you right back to it. Jake says, mind blown, never realized that's what selector detector could do. That's exactly what I wanted to show you. So I'm glad that this is helpful. So anyway, I wanted to go back to the borders and unset those styles because they don't look very good. But I do think that the border color should be a little bit lighter at first. That's obviously, I know I'm gonna get yelled at from Stratos because that's too light. Maybe like 5B. And then you would probably wanna make it darker on hover, which you could absolutely do. You just switch it to the hover state, just like normal. And then you could make it darker like that. And then of course you can add an, an effect transition just like you could anytime in the oxygen interface. That's what's so cool about selector detector to me is that you can basically style anything you want. The other thing is I mentioned styling the submit button separately. So I would just go style, click on submit and let's make sure it actually chose the correct selector input. I want submit and not input. So I'm gonna take off input there. So now we're just styling our submit button and I actually didn't save those changes. So I just messed up my uh, styling here. That's one of the downsides of this. But what I typically do is once I'm done, I go to the front end, inspect the CSS and toss it back in. So then our submit button, we have 16 pixels from before. So then um, let's just do something crazy like 48 pixels left and right. And we'll go 12 top and bottom. Then we could change our background color to be our core accent color. 
We could go to typography, change it to white, uppercase, letter spacing two, and then you know you could go with your border, which you would probably want to be the same core color to make it look somewhat consistent. And so there we go. You can see how selected detector works, which is awesome. The other thing that's really cool is that you can also add a custom selector. So if we were to go to, oops, I was already there, selectors and add a new one. And let's say you had a CSS selector called like PS button large or something like that. Now that selector is here and you can style that CSS directly using the oxygen interface, which is really useful for situations where maybe there's something you can't target for whatever reason, or you added it in a code block and you want to be able to adjust it in oxygen, you can certainly do that. So that is definitely a really easy way for you to, to um, edit things using selector detectors. So I thought that was cool. Now, the other thing is I forgot about form styler. So, uh, so the, um, like the team lead for Oxygen, Elijah Mills, many of you guys know him. Uh, he created this cool form styler plugin. So you can do this visually. So you could go contact form seven, change the settings to whatever transitions you want, change your container color. We can go to fields, change our paddings. You can change your focus behavior. All of these background colors I would change maybe to like a lighter white. And then under focus, maybe change it to something slightly darker. That actually looks terrible. Maybe something like this. And then borders, maybe change to border width of two on focus with the black like that. And then I would change my button here. Let's go to full width, change the background color to blue. And there we go. So then what happens is you take your generated CSS. We can just simply copy this, come over here to oxygen, toss in a code block and under our CSS, we just simply paste that in and there you go. So there is the CSS from formstyler.com right into oxygen and contact form seven doesn't look terrible anymore, which is really cool. Obviously, as you saw, there's a bunch of other form plugins, gravity. I always say PO, PNET, PNET forms. I don't actually know how you say that, PNET. Fluent, Ninja, and so on. All the big form ones are there, which is really cool. So if you didn't know about Form Styler, this is extremely useful. And this is again, another one of those videos I wanted to make, but it didn't really stand on its own. So I figured I might as well incorporate it in today. So that is Selector Detector in a nutshell. Actually, you know what? I mentioned this a little bit ago, um, but what's super interesting is these forums. This is, I always forget if it's BB Press or Buddy Press. It's BB Press. These forms here on my site are from BB Press and out of the box, they look super, super basic. This still looks relatively basic, but all of what you're looking at right here is styled using selector detector. So um, this stuff that you're looking at is, you know, again, it's basic, but I was able to style it to make it look half decent using selector detector, which is neat. And that's because these forms pop up in the oxygen editor. So I was able to use that to style it, which I thought was pretty cool.